Today I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use OBS Studio with a green screen, but before that, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and here is how to use a green screen with OBS Studio. But if you do not know how to use OBS Studio, please go to tqaweekly.com slash se7ep08, pause this video, and go and look at that. First is also the instructions on how to download the latest version of OBS. When you are done, come back here, leave the program open so that you can continue following along. But before we go into tutorial, I want you to understand the very definition of a green screen. It's either a cloth, a screen, or a green wall. Pro tip, light it uniformly. The better it's lit, the better it's going to show up. Especially make sure that you are not casting a shadow on it because it will create various weird things like you'll see in the tutorial. And of course, don't forget to experiment with OBS Studio green screens and sliders and all that. You're not a professional movie studio, so obviously you're going to learn as time goes on. So don't be afraid to make mistakes and do weird things. Experiment, that's how we learn. So here is the tutorial and I swear it is faster than you think. So welcome to OBS Studio. Provided you've already seen the other episode I've done on how to set up OBS Studio to stream, whether you're game streaming or doing a live show, you should be well aware of the many functions that are available to you inside OBS Studio. And I suggest that you play around with it and don't be afraid. There's nothing you can do to it that will make it impossible to revert from. For green screens though, you select the source, right click, Click Filters, and in the Effects Filters, you'll click the plus, and then go to Chroma Key. We call it green screen in the show notes, so we'll just do this. Bear in mind that you will not get a perfect green screen ever unless you got like the best stuff and the best sliding setup. So play around with the, with the sliders until you are happy with what you're getting. Obviously, you can play around with contrast and whatever to make the image look better. Obviously, you don't want all this fuzz, so just pull it back. Make sure you don't look fuzzy at all. I always have problems with that bottom side. Probably should fix that with another third light, which I can probably do. So just make sure you look as clean as you can. And once you are happy with it, so once you are happy with it, keeping in mind that you will never get it absolutely perfect unless you fix all the lighting, just adjust it so that you can actually allow people to watch whatever gameplay is gonna show up behind you. And make sure that it's always on the bottom of the screen. That way the bottom of your body actually makes sense. If you put it anywhere else, you're gonna have to put it inside a box, otherwise no one's gonna understand what's going on. But this is basically how you stream with a green screen. The better your lighting, the better it's gonna look. And of course, if you like this episode, like it, otherwise dislike it, share with those that you think benefit from this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for future episodes. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at qaweekly.com or go to my website to qaweekly.com for everything else. And if you wanna make this show better and get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.